what I am doing is I just take a label. Just write it here it as employee ID. Arranging this with Arial and setting this thing. I'm taking one text input. I'm just making it copy and paste. Employee ID, employee name, and employee email. Employee name, employee email. Data, date of joining, date of birth, RM name, RM email. What I'm doing is here. Out here. So here I'm just taking it as date of birth. This is my date of joining. RM mail. Yes. I'll just arrange these things. Okay. And after that, uh, here it is 7068 as X. So I'm just taking on date picker. One zero six as Arial and KT semi board. Here it is uh, two not five two ninety one. Simply directly I can put it two not five and two ninety one. X and Y properties. I'm just writing here to go and see. So pin code is also given. After that, what are the fields remaining? Profile picture and present key. Right picture. Then after that is present.
is active. So for this, I need to have one two toggles here. And for the profile picture to be added, I need to have one attachment control over here. For this in the form, you have to go form and edit the fields. Add one field called attachments. So take this data card, control C and here control V. Keep attachment over here and remove all its associated codes which are coming from the farm. Okay, now all the errors have been removed. And take one picture. this image to be kept here for the verification purpose okay here dot attachments so here in this as it is attachment control is in tabular form so i'm just taking last of Attachment dot value. I'm just taking it. Okay, I'll we'll just check it out how it is working. I'm just attaching an image. I'm able to see this image. Okay. Right. Now, how to submit this data, which is obtaining in the normal labels. So I'm just uh, replacing all these data card values with respect to these text inputs. Control C. So all are right. Same code I'm just taking here. If he is blank of text input two dot text name field should not be blank. This is name field. So two underscore one. After that, Our score two email field should not be blank. After that, date pickers are there, two date pickers, date picker two, and date picker two dash one. And this is two underscore three. So date picker two. This is date picker two underscore one. Drop that text input two underscore three. Score four. And this will is to underscore five. All right, this one underscore four. Now I made this to underscore five.
first check these tables. Pin code one is two underscore eight. Right. So now I don't want this patch, uh, this submit form. And instead of this, I'll just write code for this table. So I'm just taking this patch function. Patch of training employee. Creating a new record, so I'm just taking default. Power base is on. Play ID. Text in two. Dot text. Okay. And of that employee name. Text in two one score one dot text. I simply I'll do copy paste. After that, email after that, date of joining, date of birth, date picker two, got selected date, date of joining. Picker two underscore one dot selected date RM name for V RM mail for V and that address for V code for V file picture image five dot h present is active or is present present today toggle one dot value is active toggle one underscore one dot value closing the floor basis okay, so pin code is number this is not text so that's why it is Text with two dot text, so it has to be a number. So I'm just converting this into value. Okay, so that's why because in the packet we have mentioned it as a value, so that's why it is not taking the text. Now you just change as per your required things here. Just cross check it. Name field is two underscore one, email is two underscore two. And uh, RM name is two underscore three. So by image is two underscore two. Here it is two underscore three. Underscore five. Four. Or six. Right. Bodies to underscore eight. Okay. So fine. Now my code is ready. Patch. I'm just checking with 
condition validations blank or not just i'm just checking only one validation here that it is blank or not okay then after that i'm just patching the things with respect to the values so let us check the so name field should not be blank Email field. Already it is default dates are there. That's why it is not asking. Product name. Mail. Address. And I did not write for these validations. I can submit it. Present and active. I can submit the data. Okay. Value cannot be converted to a number. Oh, this is a pin code, no? so that's why it is not taking. So it did, it did not patch it. So here I have to put some values. In back the font. So, so, so for this, yeah. There is a color uh, error it is asking. Why? Because as we have mentioned it as a value, but we have given it as a text. So that's why it is not taking that. Okay. So here, how to do that one? How to restrict it? Not to enter the number, um, uh, you know, text. So that's why you have to write it as a number. Now you enter the value, submit it. Now it has been patched successfully. So, like that. Okay. So, this is a way to patch with respect to a form and as well as with respect to the labels so when we have to use the form and when we have to use the labels means so for example if the design and all is user specific if the ui is as per the client requirement then go for this kind of labels and text fields and the drop downs and all or if the design is simple and it is just we need to enter the data for the submission of the form so you can go for this type of form way of approach so by both ways you can attach the data to the backend. You can play as per your requirement.